this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. <laughs> Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings, and you're watching another episode of Septum Sen vs. the World, First Impressions. The show where I watch something for the first time, on disc, and I let you, the viewer, know my thoughts. First thoughts. Unmarinated thoughts. Tired thoughts. Wait, oh, sorry. Uh, about what we're watching this time. And this time, it is a Criterion film called A Christmas Tale by Arnaud Despichin. Despichin. Really? Always. So, I know that y'all are used to kind of the lower class, maybe, uh, or like the small indie horror with the occasional. I think we had the two all dogs, but I don't know if I consider those high class either. Now we got some really classy French stuff. So we're going to see that now. Of course, this is the Criterion, so they have a whole bunch of stuff like essays, interviews, and let's see. Is there a... There is no commentary, but there are some featurettes. So this one kind of reminds me of The Family Stone, if you are familiar with that lovely holiday movie. Essentially, you have this family. And the oldest, so it's a family of two. A brother and a sister. Well, the brother gets sick. So the family decides, well, test the marrow. Well, sister's incompatible. So they go for another child. That other child is not compatible. And they have another child. They have another child. But the oldest child dies. Family is always in this state of kind of melancholy. Uh, the brother and the oldest sister have this feud going on where she pays his debts off because he's kind of a screw up and then says, in return for that, you will never be allowed in the same room as me. As he calls himself being banished. And during this time, some other stuff comes up. The mother in the family has this cancer, this bone marrow cancer thing going on that will turn to leukemia and kill her within six months if she doesn't get somebody that is a donor. Well, so she calls out to the family at large, and there are two potential donors. Uh, the one estranged brother and the son of our uh, oldest female who has come down with schizophrenia, which is an interesting little twist. And I do like how they did that. So the family gets together to Christmas, and they have to work out a lot of their crap as it goes until we reach the satisfying end. So story-wise, this hits all the good beats. I mean, it is what it is. It sets out really well. If you like something like... The Family Stone, I think you will like this. It's a little bit more somber. There's not as much comedy in it, though there is a little bit. There's a heck of a lot more um, fighting within the family. And uh, it's also two and a half hours long. So, like many French films, I found myself nodding off <laughs> throughout some of it. But it's a reasonably good plot. The acting is spectacular. You believe these people are who they are. There is not a bad actor in the bunch. Even the child actors do a good job. And the teen that they use to play the son with schizophrenia does an excellent job 
at dealing with these mental health symptoms. There's a creepy thing where they show him looking at this mirror and he sees his face in the mirror give this creepy smile at him and just uh, freaks him out and that freaks me out too so I, I understand. As far as the um, well I guess production design I mean you had some good houses for this shots but nothing fancy nothing huge on the costume design front just reasonable and well enough done to execute what is needed. The same thing goes for the music. It is a nice soundtrack. It is well it is good to listen to, but as I've said before, I wouldn't listen to it on its own. But it's not perfect, but it's not horrible either. It's just a soundtrack. <laughs> so, we've heard a little bit of the tale of the tape, so let's talk about who would like this. Again, if you like the Family Stone, you will probably like this. If you like a good drama with a lot of family conflict and resolution, you will like this. Um, if you like artistic French films, you may still like this. It's not super artistic, but definitely does have some art value to it. Uh, if you are into most of the stuff I've covered here so far, you will not like this probably. <laughs> Uh, this is not for uh, horror fans or indie horror fans. You kind of have to be in for a different type of indie. <laughs> but that's my take on A Christmas Tale. I saw this at Barnes & Noble for many years, and I decided, finally, you know what? I, I want some Christmas movies in there, and this is one of them. I need to get Joyeux Noël also. That's another French film, but also a very good French film even better than this one and uh, about the soccer game that uh, they had between the Germans and the French or was a British son that in World War one it was really good really good uh, but that's about it for this one I hope you've enjoyed this if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe and share but let me know what do you think what is your favorite artsy Christmas movie what is your favorite non like sappy uh, Christmas movie or Christmas horror. Leave those out. Just what is your favorite like artsy Christmas film? What's your go-to? <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one.